I wanted to detect when a player hits a block. Now you can already detect when a block is broken using test for block or the scoreboard, but I wanted to detect when you just click a block. You can also use the scoreboard to detect when a player right clicks a block, but you can detect specific blocks. But now I found a way to detect which block the player clicks. Let me show you how I did it. So as you can see over here, there are a bunch of slimes hovering above a pressure plate and some invisibility particles above them. I'll make the mobs visible so that you can see what's going on. As you can see, there's a squid inside the glass and there are stacked slimes underneath him. The slime has a regeneration potion that prevents him from dying because of suffocation. But only we will be able to kill it because we have a strength potion. You can give yourself a strength potion using this command. The slimes are actually inverted because we want to know when the squid dies, so now the slimes will fall when it dies. The last slime isn't inverted because that's what's going to trigger the pressure plate, and inverted slimes cannot trigger pressure plates. Now all I did was connect the pressure plate to this command block that's going to respawn the stack of mobs, and I connected it to this monostable circuit that is connected to this clock. So every time the pressure plate gets triggered, the redstone signal will go one further and every command block over here is going to change the glass block. Now let me show you what this command looks like. The bottom one should be the squid, after all that should keep the slimes floating as long as it's still alive. Then we'll spawn inverted slimes riding it, and the last one will be a normal slime that is not inverted. Now we'll make the slimes invulnerable, that prevents them from dying immediately, they'll despawn anyway once they fall into the void. This will give them the invisibility effect, and the squid gets the regeneration effect. So yeah, that's it for today guys, I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.